Now, when it comes to self-control, what I'm talking about is not only stopping the poison that comes in, but cleaning out any poison that comes in. The best thing to do is to stop it before it gets inside of you. Any of you ever had a, a, a bad meal? You've gotten, had maybe uh, stomach poisoning before. You've eaten something that was, not, it was maybe bad and it really affected you. And so you realize, my goodness, I, I wish I had not eaten that, but I did. What do I do now? Okay, that's the idea, okay? So the biggest thing is to make sure you avoid the stuff and you got to make some choices. We all do have to make some hard choices about what comes into our house through our television, what comes into our house through the movies that we watch. This is not legalism. This is just you being healthy, okay? You being having a healthy mind, what comes into your house through your, through your computer. You're making choices and you choose that. But sometimes some stuff sneaks in that you didn't catch along the way and you find that you've been mentally poisoned by something. What do you do then, will you make the decision to go to God to have a mind cleansing? I'm glad that God can clean out your mind, aren't you? You say, are you sure that can happen? Yes, it can. Take a look with me at Psalm 51. Psalmist David had some mental problems with his own life, some things that got, uh, were, were soiled in his life, and so he prays this prayer, keep He's, he's talking to God now. Keep creating in me a clean heart. Fill me with pure thoughts and holy desires ready to please you. So here is David crying out for his heart to be clean again, for his mind to be purified. I will tell you that when you get poisoned, the best thing you can do is find the antidote, and that's nothing other than the blood of Jesus cleansing your mind from that, that stuff that gets inside of you, and God is faithful to do that, as we'll get to in a moment, as you approach Him with that need.